You're watching Access LaPorte County Channel 97. Coming up next is the September 26th meeting of the Michigan City Water Works Board. You can find more information for this meeting at www.accesslaportcounty.org. There you go. Uh, approval minutes from the meeting on September 12th. I'll make a motion to approve the minutes of the previous board meeting held September 12th, 2023. I'll second it. Second, we approve the minutes from September 12th in the initial session. We now have a very Aye. Purchase orders. And before you, there's uh, two purchase orders. Uh, one is a confirming purchase order. It's a Midwest meter for two-inch drainers. Uh, they go on our on our water meters um, for nine hundred seventy-seven dollars and eight cents. And then the uh, next item is to Ferguson. This is for sixteen-inch repair clamps for main brakes for five thousand two hundred fifty-eight dollars and thirty-four cents. I'll make a motion to accept the list of purchase orders dated on twenty-sixth, twenty twenty-three. I'll second it. We must second we approve the purchase orders dated 926. Any additional discussion? No. There are none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Claims. <coughs> Make a motion to approve the list of claims dated September 26, 2023. I'll second it. Motion second. We approve the claims as of September 26. Any additional discussion? Any none. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Those are All right, financial. Chris? We'll just run through our cash flow real quick for the month. Uh, we took in eight hundred fifty-two thousand one hundred two dollars We did recover $52.10 back in bad debts. Uh, we spent $495,869, not including our transfers. Our Inventory items for the month, we purchased through 31,346. And we spent 19,463 on capital items. Our end balance for the month was 342,102. And we go through page three. Our revenue was directly in line with last year. Our um, expense line items were um, under forecast, except for our general Line is a little bit over, but we spent um, about ten thousand dollars for the union um, negotiation attorney fees. Uh, we actually made some net income for the month of one hundred fifty-three thousand six hundred five. For the year to date, we are still in the hole of forty-four thousand three hundred eighty-six, but that does include our appreciation expense. On page four. Everything in this page is pretty decent. It's, um, our chemicals line is high again, just mainly because of price increases. Our materials and supplies line is a little bit over. We had purchased a new receipt printer, uh, fire hose for the distribution center, as well as the partner saw. And then our miscellaneous line, we got a AWWA operator expense school and a couple of small purchases and put that over forecast for the month. On page five, on the lower section, section two, I just want to point out our bond balance. Uh, we made our bond payment on August 29th. Our balance now is $6,815. And then on page six, the top section, you can see our bond payment um, and our wire fee coming out of bond. Redemption funds or any balance in there was four thousand nine hundred forty-three dollars. Unless there's any questions, that's all I've got. Okay. Any questions? Questions? Answers. I'll make a motion to accept the financial statement as presented by Chris Wolf of the August 2023 financials. I'll second it. Motion second, we accept the financial statements as presented the August 31st. Any additional discussion? Yeah. Any more in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Old business. Uh, the first item under old business, I included uh, for your information, 
a copy of the insert that was um, the board had authorized me to approve. Uh, so these are in the process of being printed right now and it should roll out with our uh, October billing um, at the beginning of October. So uh, folks will be receiving those throughout the month of October. Hmm. Um, the second item under old business. Uh, a couple of years ago, uh, the board had approved um, an extension on a access road that was behind Love's gas station. Um, basically, we're calling it Love Street because that's what we're, that's what we're being told it's going to be called. And um, originally, the department was going to install the main. We've already purchased the material because. Uh, uh, the folks from Loves did pay their portion, so we bought the material. Mm -hmm. uh, then we started to find out that um, in the design process, uh, the wetlands are a lot further to the area that we need to be than was originally planned. So um, what we found out from the contractor that's putting in the sewer is they're going to be dewatering um, and moving a lot of water out of that area. Um, in order for the water being to be installed, um, we could, our, our, our people could still do the job. Uh, but I got in contact with uh, DM Excavating because they were doing other work out there for this project. Mm -hmm. And they proposed the cost of $28,632.60. Well, um, they were paid by the county. Um, last year to do water service taps, but the county was, should have paid us. It was a communication error. They didn't get in communication with us about that. So I was I, I was to bill DNM for this amount of money. It was twenty nine thousand two hundred twenty. Um, so in basically uh, in speaking with Brian Miller, president of DNM, he said that basically if we want to Basically, it's a wash. It's almost the same amount of money. It was a $500 difference between the two. Mm -hmm. And uh, so he's okay with it. I mean, I'm okay with it. So I guess I just wanted to make sure the board would be okay with, with us doing that. Um, and then, of course, Chris has to do uh, all the accounting parts of that. Mm -hmm. All right, dude. I already gave the job. <laughs> I already told him about it. Um, but basically, basically, it's it, rather than us us paying him for this work and then him turning around and paying us for the other item, mm -hmm. we're just basically he does that job. This washes out. Mm -hmm. All right, all the paperwork's in place. Yeah, I mean, ba basically, we've already, I mean, we already all have the material, we've already done the permit. Um, he's he's based his price on the fact that the other contractor that's doing the sewer line is going to have that area dewatered. So he's going to jump in right after they do the sewer line, because the sewer line is 16 feet deep, so they have to go first. Mm -hmm. uh, so they're going to do theirs first, and then we're going to come in above. And, uh, so you need approval on this? Uh, I would have to have an approval, yeah. I'll make it a motion that we um, approve the estimate for the deep water of Love's Travel Center, and furthermore, that we net it against the amount of the change order so that there'll be no funds changing hands. I'll second it. Motion second. <clears throat> for main installation, not for dewater. Can we approve the reappropriation funds for the main installation? Main installation. Right. Is that what you said? Okay. Yeah, it's for main installation. So we love this okay. Center any additional discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? 
Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. All right, under old business. So another item under old business, um, the US-20 annexation uh, by Swan Lake uh, Cemetery. Um, of course, the city needs to have water main installed. And originally, we had a plan to run a loop uh, north from US-20 to Mankey Road and tying in over at the Water main near Wood Creek Drive and Mankey Road. Um, I talked to, we, we were discussing, I was discussing this project with our engineer and we started discussing the, the costs that we were going to have just in surveying work alone to get across this property. Because it's so heavily wooded, we were looking at having to do some clearing in order to do the survey work. Uh, so, one of the things with the annexation is that the city's obligation is to supply adequate flow and pressure and water main in an area where the properties can get the water. Um, so in all reality, the city really only needs to run water main from the point of connection up by the interchange, the US 20 212 interchange by the airport, and then down to the uh, west western end of the annex area um, and then at that point the properties to the south and the properties to the north can get water from that main um, so I did talk to Skyler York about this um, and he, he believes this is to be the case for them as well that, that, that this would be acceptable I then talked to our engineers and asked them to run the hydraulic model again and see what would happen if we did not include the dashed lines that you see on this drawing. And they said that we would actually have adequate flow and pressure for industrial development in this area without that loop. Uh, one of the things we'll have to do is where you see up at Michigan Boulevard and the interchange, um, you see a bunch of green up there, those are, that's some valving there's a smaller main that runs through, or a 12-inch main that runs through there. That will be upsized to a 16, and that increases the flow to this main that runs along um, Highway 20. Um, so I wanted to make sure that the board was okay with reducing the scope of this project, and of course by re reducing the scope of the project, then this is going to reduce the cost to the city considerably. Um, about almost half, I would say, of construction expense and, and material expense. Which you mentioned was two million, so. a little over two million. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think they have four point five allocated for this project. Oh. So, is this area down here, right above where you have the words "area of US 20"? Was that that Autumn Creek Mobile Home Park? Yeah, that's the closed mobile home park, and then... Because um, nothing's there now, correct? There's no right. mobile homes or anything. No, there aren't. Mm -hmm. But we do need to get to... We're going to... We would run the water main down, and you see the cross, the the one the line that goes across uh, to the north? Yep. That will get installed so that the water is actually on that side of the road as part of this project. I think they closed that areas due to their water yeah they, mm -hmm. they didn't have adequate water mm -hmm. um, it yeah. was it was already pretty much defunct by the time mm -hmm. it closed down anyway mm -hmm. um, I don't I've heard rumors of what what will be in that space um, I'm, I'm assuming that if we start getting other commercial industrial development mm -hmm. these other properties that that's probably what will happen there too mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. How long ago did they get rid of all the trailers? A long time ago? Just a few years mm -hmm. ago. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They should have been. I, have, I haven't been out that way for a long time. So do you need a motion on this? Um, I guess I would need to have um, permission to uh, reduce the scope of the project and provide that new cost to the city. Uh, because we've already provided them a uh, 
much larger estimate. You guys get it. Oh, it's, I'm doing fine. That's wonderful. Okay. I'll make a motion to allow Superintendent Chris Johnson to requote the project without, um, or, or, or requote the project for the city based on less um, less work here needed. I'll second it. So the second that we allow our <coughs> superintendent to recruit the project with the <coughs> on US 20 and uh, Ron, yes, to me. Any additional discussion? You are none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion here. Okay. Uh, the next item that's clipped after that drawing is a request permission. To move. I, we had a meeting today between uh, myself, uh, Wessler, and Austin Associates, uh, Wessler Engineering. Um, Hassan Associates has been working on this US-20 project and trying to put together a quote to do this project. Um, there's a lot of pieces to this project that are becoming an issue. Uh, one of the pieces that they discussed is the crossing of the railroad. Um, the, it, is a, it is the South Shore, South Shore freight line. Uh, that is currently owned by a, a third party uh, that owns a whole bunch of railroads and they use another party to do all their lease activity. Uh, when you cross the railroad, oftentimes you have to pay a lease if they own the right of way. If it's a state highway right of way, then you don't usually have to pay a month, an annual lease, but you do still have to get a permit through the railroad to get under the railroad. Um, so where we're at right now is we're not 100% certain who owns what right away. The way that the county GIS identifies this rail crossing, it, it gives the indication that the South, South Shore or the uh, South Shore Freight Railroad actually owns the crossing through there, and that the state highway might have a lease or, a, or, or an easement. To go across the railroads right away. So if that's the case, then we would probably end up having to pay a fee every year to the railroad to be across the railroad. Um, this got pretty complicated for uh, for the, the conversations we were having with, uh, with with Haas Associates, and they recommended that we reach out to Wessler because uh, there's. Wessler has a environmental group that does this kind of thing across the state and deals with railroad crossing activities. So we met today, and um, Wessler said that they um, there is some preliminary work that they have to do, which is going to be a cost to them to just to figure out exactly how much it's going to cost to make to design this crossing. Because they'll be doing the, uh, the the footwork on getting um, who owns what figured out, what the specs are going to be, uh, all that detail. Plus, then they're going to actually design that crossing area. Um, so their initial um, initially, there's some of their initial costs. They estimated a not to exceed four thousand um, to do just the preliminary work of doing all of the research, digging into figuring out who owns what and who, who's going to be contacted on everything and what the requirements are going to be so that they can then turn around and put together an estimate to actually design it. So, uh, so what I'd like to have is permission from the board to, uh, to 
to have a, a service agreement with Wessler to do this preliminary injury, engineering work for the rail crossing with the not to exceed of 4,000. I'd like to make a motion to allow Superintendent Chris Johnson to engage Wessler and the uh, work to determine the crossing of the railroad at a price not to exceed $4,000. I'll second it. I wish we'll second that we <clears throat> allow the superintendent to accept a proposal from Wesley Engineering not to exceed the four thousand dollars to assess the pricing of the railroad project. Any additional discussion? Very now all those in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Any new business? Uh, I'm still on old business, unfortunately. Yeah, it's okay. There's more to come. Oh, okay. All right. Like I said, there's a lot of issues with this project that we're running into. Oh. Um, there, the last item that I gave you guys, there's a proposal from us and associates to staple together. These are sub, uh, sub consultants that need to start working on uh, the, the layout of the ground um, we need to find out we have to get land surveying done which would be required no matter what in the design process and we need to get geotechnical investigations and consulting done to make sure that we're not going to have soils issues going into laying out the water main um, and then we also are looking at wetland surveying and consulting to make sure if we have wetlands that they're properly delineated because when we do all of our design work, we have to take that into account and make sure that if we're going to be crossing the wetland, we do it properly. Um, and then, then they may find that there is no wetland to cross and that makes it 10 times easier for us. But uh, these consultants, um, this is all work that we had already planned on having a sort of subcontract to have done uh, when we talked about moving forward with this project. Um, and in all reality, based on the conversation I've had with, with, uh, with Mr. Haas, in order for him to be able to nail down a solid quote on designing and putting this all together, along with the, the, the final pieces of construction design, he needs to know some of this information sooner than later. Um, so he and I discussed it, um, and so I, I suggested that they provide the consultants that they want to, that, that they need to use for this, and an amount that they would be charging us to to hire these consultants, these sub-consultants to do the, that piece of information, that gathering of information. Then there's another proposal there uh, for 20000 from Haas and Associates, and that's for them to do, to, to, to basically manage these sub-consultants and to pull the additional information together that's necessary for this final uh, design quote process. So it'll be 76, right? Between the, between the two. 450. Yeah. So um, basically, I would just need uh, permission to allow us to do these two items uh, to start this process. Um, this will also that help accelerate the uh, the process of getting this designed so we can get this out to bid. Because so right now, um, right now we're probably we're probably almost three months before we can even put this out to bid uh, at the at the rate we're moving, and and that's that's being aggressive to getting it done. So um, part of the reason why I'm pushing for this to be a little more aggressive is because of the the fact that the city is under a time constraint um, and we haven't held up this project as a department but 
but I also know that this needs to get moving forward. Otherwise, the, those, those funds might disappear as well to do this project getting done. Oh. So and you're sure okay? There. You're good with the amount? With the amounts? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I am. We, we had already had a, in our, in our plan, we had a plan that identified a pretty, pretty hefty amount of money towards engineering costs for this project. So this is part of what we had already anticipated to pay out towards engineering on this project. Okay. So you need a motion? Um, so yeah, I would need a motion to, to do that. Okay. Uh, I'll make a motion to use Haas and Associates for their share of work uh, for the subcontractors and then their payment for supervising. It's, it's, it's uh, supervising and dealing uh, okay. basically to deal with uh, additional um, activities with designing this project. Okay. Yeah, that's it. That's my motion. I'll second that. Motion is second. We accept the proposal from Haas and Associates. As presented. Any additional discussion? Any none of those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion here. Thank you. I appreciate it. I know it's kind of last minute on that, but got to keep this thing in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, now it's a full business. Uh, just included a copy of the um, flyer for the mayor's uh, charity ball. Um, if any, you know, folks have already notified me whether they were planning on attending or not. Um, and I am reaching out to uh, employees within the department to find out if anybody is interested in attending from the department as well. So um, ideally like to ideally like to fill a table, but I can just do it if we can. Okay. Anybody else have any business? Public comment. Directors come. I'll make a motion to adjourn the Tuesday, September 26, 2023 meeting of the Mission City Water Board. I'll second it. Motion second. We'll adjourn. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Aye.